Donald Trump Jr. has attempted to dismiss claims he secretly liaised with WikiLeaks during the 2016 election by tweeting out a series of messages he had with the organization. Trump Jr. revealed what he said was the entire chain of Twitter direct messages with WikiLeaks between September 2016 and July this year, in which the anti-secrecy group sought to feed information to the Trump campaign and enhance the impact of its Clinton releases. Following one message in which Don Jr. and WikiLeaks discussed the release of documents hacked from Clinton campaign chair John Podesta, then-presidential candidate Trump tweeted about the leak. Throughout his correspondences with WikiLeaks, the eldest Trump never rebuffed the transparency group, led by Julian Assange with connections to the Kremlin, but would instead answer messages courteously or not reply to them at all. Trump Jr.'s lawyer has suggested that his client's conversations with WikiLeaks had been sent to the Atlantic by a member of Congress who had access to the messages by way of the Russia probe. A source familiar with the congressional investigations on Russia said Trump Jr. emailed a number of senior campaign officials, including Jared Kushner, Kellyanne Conway, Steve Bannon, and Digital Director Brad Parscale, to inform them WikiLeaks had made contact in September 2016. Donald Trump Jr., left, was corresponding with WikiLeaks, whose founder is Julian Assange, right, for several weeks leading up to last year's presidential election, The Atlantic has found. Kushner, President Trump's son-in-law, forwarded the email about it to campaign press secretary Hope Hicks, who is now the White House communications director meaning that a large swath of Trump's inner circle knew of the conversations. President Trump's own CIA director Mike Pompeo has warned the country about the Assange-fronted group. It's time to call out WikiLeaks for what it really is, a non-state hostile intelligence service often abetted by state actors like Russia, he said at a speech in April. But until Monday, Trump Jr. did not disclose these conversations publicly, even though Assange had openly spoke of making contact with the first son. Related articles previous. One next. Trump says he'll make major announcement Wednesday. Biden claims there is no reason to believe Putin as he says. Where does that hand go? Trump laughs through awkward Asia. Ivanka Trump says she's so optimistic about getting a GOP. Share this article. Share. 749 shares script DM. Later, bundle, function, if, DM. Rotator, new DM. Rotator. P26, page size, 1, page count, 1.0, active class, active, rotate, false, dollar, number p26.share, dot on, click, function, dms.facebook.posttof, related. In the first message given to The Atlantic, dated September 20, 2016, WikiLeaks tried giving the Trump son a heads up about an anti-Trump political action committee that was launching. A pack-run anti-Trump site PutinTrump.org is about to launch, WikiLeaks wrote. The pack is a recycled pro-Iraq war pack. We have guessed the password. It is Putin Trump. See about for who is behind it. Any comments? The site, started by tech entrepreneur Rob Glazer exists today as a reporting project in conjunction with liberal website Mother Jones and explores the Trump-Russia connection. WikiLeaks suggested to Donald Trump Jr. that he use his Twitter account to link to the group's work, which he did several days later. Then-presidential candidate Donald Trump tweeted about WikiLeaks just minutes after Trump Jr. corresponded with the organization. For his part, Julian Assange took credit for Donald Trump Jr.'s actions and said publicly that his organization had reached out to the eldest Trump son amid the New York Times outing his meeting with a Russian lawyer in Trump Tower in July 2016. Then, Trump Jr. didn't know much about it, as he informed the WikiLeaks Twitter handle through his first known direct message to the controversial group. Off the record I don't know who that is, but I'll ask around, the Trump son wrote, adding thanks to his message. Donald Trump Jr.'s conversations with WikiLeaks would continue for the next several weeks, with him sometimes responding and other times, seemingly, taking the group's advice. On October 3, 2016, Trump Jr. was a step ahead of WikiLeaks. The group wrote to Trump, Hiya, 
it'd be great if you guys could comment on slash push this story, WikiLeaks wrote, pointing out that Hillary Clinton had said she wanted to just drone WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. Already did that earlier today, Trump Jr. replied. It's amazing what she can get away with, he added. Two minutes later, he wanted more. What's behind this Wednesday leak I keep reading about? Trump Jr. asked, though was ignored. The Atlantic figured out that the day before Trump's longtime political adviser Roger Stone, who held no official role for the campaign, wrote, Wednesday at Hillary Clinton is done. Number WikiLeaks Then-presidential candidate Donald Trump had proclaimed to a Pennsylvania crowd, I love WikiLeaks on October 10, after the organization had published some of Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta's stolen emails. Two days later, WikiLeaks responded to Trump Jr.'s Twitter message. Hey Donald, great to see you and your dad talking about our publications, WikiLeaks wrote back instead, messaging back Donald Trump Jr. on October 12. Strongly suggest your dad tweets this link if he mentions us. The message included a link to the Podesta emails leak. Trump Jr. did not respond to the message, but 15 minutes later, then-presidential candidate Trump tweeted, Very little pickup by the dishonest media of incredible information provided by WikiLeaks. So dishonest. Rigged system. WikiLeaks also suggested that Donald Trump Jr. tweet out a link that would allow his father's followers to dig through the trove of stolen Clinton documents. There's many great stories the press are missing and we're sure some of your followers will find it, WikiLeaks said. BTW We Just Released Podesta Emails Part 4 Two days later, Trump Jr. tweeted the link to the Podesta emails, writing, For those who have the time to read about all the corruption and hypocrisy all the at WikiLeaks emails are right here, http slash slash olsearch.tk slash dot. After this, Donald Trump Jr. stopped responding to WikiLeaks messages. The group wanted him, on October 21, to leak one of his father's tax returns in order to make it look like WikiLeaks was an impartial operator. WikiLeaks argued that its site would be a better arbiter to release them than a more liberal news publication like the New York Times or MSNBC. The New York Times had previously released part of Trump's returns. If we publish them it will dramatically improve the perception of our impartiality, WikiLeaks noted. That means that the vast amount of stuff that we are publishing on Clinton will have much higher impact, because it won't be perceived as coming from a pro-Trump, pro-Russia source. The same for any other negative stuff, documents, recordings, that you think has a decent chance of coming out, WikiLeaks continued. Let us put it out. Trump Jr. didn't do anything with the offer. WikiLeaks had an idea for how the Trumps could play election day too. Hi Don if your father loses we think it is much more interesting if he does not concede and spends time challenging the media and other types of rigging that occurred as he has implied that he might do, WikiLeaks wrote on election night, hours before the final results would come in. The discussion can be transformative as it exposes media corruption, primary corruption, PAC corruption, etc. Trump Jr. didn't bite on that suggestion as well because he didn't need to. With his father elected, WikiLeaks later just wrote back, Wow! In December 16, 2016, several weeks into the presidential transition, WikiLeaks tried again, asking Trump Jr. for a favor. Hi Don! Hope you're doing well. In relation to Mr. Assange, Obama Clinton placed pressure on Sweden, UK, and Australia, his home country, to illicitly go after Mr. Assange. WikiLeaks wrote. It would be real easy and helpful for your dad to suggest that Australia appoint Assange ambassador to Washington D.C. President-elect Trump, WikiLeaks thought, could say something to the affect of, that's a real smart tough guy and the most famous Australian sick you have. They won't do it but it will send the right signals to Australia, UK and Sweden to start following the law and stop bending it to ingratiate themselves with the Clintons, WikiLeaks said. Trump Jr. didn't answer the group's request. The Atlantic found that through the winter and spring WikiLeaks didn't have much contact with the eldest Trump son, who foregoed going to Washington like his sister Ivanka, 
to instead take the reins of the Trump businesses in New York. But on July 11, 2017, three days after the New York Times broke the story about a Trump Tower meeting Donald Trump Jr. had a year before with a Russian lawyer, who was promised to have dirt on Hillary Clinton, WikiLeaks contacted the Trump son and had a thought. Hi Don. Sorry to hear about your problems, WikiLeaks wrote. We have an idea that may help a little. We are very interested in confidentially obtaining and publishing a copy of the email, s, cited in the New York Times today. The emails contained a promise from music publicist Rob Goldstone, who was setting up the meeting between Trump campaign officials and Russian lawyer Natalia Veselitskaya, that there was Russian dirt on Clinton. We think this is strongly in your interest, WikiLeaks advised Trump Jr. of leaking his emails on the site as it would prevent journalists from casting the meeting in a negative light. Us publishing not only deprives them of this ability but is beautifully confounding. Again, Trump Jr. didn't respond, though later published the emails himself using Twitter. Several hours later, Assange took credit for the idea. Earlier this year, Donald Trump Jr. also published emails about his meeting a Russian lawyer, who was promised to have dirt on Hillary Clinton. WikiLeaks had previously contacted the Trump son and had suggested he do so. Contacted Trump Jr. this morning on why he should publish his emails, i.e. with us, Assange wrote. Two hours later, does it himself. Response on social media has been divided, mainly down the political divide. Some have heralded the correspondence as proof of the Trump administration's ties to Russia and called for special counsel Robert Mueller to investigate as part of his probe. Others pointed to the lack of response from Trump Jr. in the messages, as evidence of his lack of collusion. Donald Trump Jr.'s lawyer Alan Futterfuss made reference to the fact that his client's conversations had been leaked to The Atlantic when responding to the publication's inquiry. Over the last several months, we have worked cooperatively with each of the committees and have voluntarily turned over thousands of documents in response to their requests, Futterfuss said. Putting aside the question as to why or by whom such documents, provided to Congress under promises of confidentiality, have been selectively leaked, we can say with confidence that we have no concerns about these documents and any questions raised about them have been easily answered in the appropriate forum, Futterfuss added. The House and Senate Intelligence Committee, along with the Senate Judiciary Committee have been looking into Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election along with looking for evidence of collusion with the Trump campaign. Special Counsel Robert Mueller is also looking into the issue, having taken over the FBI's probe. In September, Donald Trump Jr. spoke with congressional investigators, however he's not testified about Russian influence in an open, public session.